Have you been playing guitar for a while now, but you don't know the notes on your fretboard and you're not really sure how to approach learning them? For one reason or another, guitar players just don't seem to learn the names of the notes on their neck. Any other musician you ask, piano players, violin, clarinet, whatever it may be, they all know the notes on their instrument inside and out. I'm gonna show you how you can finally tackle the guitar neck and learn the names of your notes, learn where they all are, and put yourself ahead of the other guitarists who don't know the notes. By not knowing the notes on your fretboard, yeah, sure, you can learn tabs, you can do fun things like that, but you're never gonna truly unlock the instrument until you know the notes of your fretboard. Many of you may have attempted to learn the names of the notes on your fretboard, or maybe you know some of them and you're just trying to figure out the best way to finish the job and get all those notes down and committed to memory. This isn't some master the guitar quick scheme. It's gonna take some work, but if you work hard at it and you do everything in this video, I guarantee once you're done this process, you will have all the notes memorized on your guitar. You can get this down in as little time as a week if you do it properly and you work hard at it. After that week, you'll have the fretboard memorized and you'll never have to worry about it again. It'll truly unlock your creative freedom on the instrument and make playing so much easier. Two things you want to know first before we dive into this. First thing is the names of your strings. If you don't know the names of your strings, got to get that down first. Starting from the top, our thickest string, we have E, A, D, G, B, Get that memorized if you don't already. If you need a little trick to help with that, elephants and donkeys grow big ears. Second thing you want to know is how the musical alphabet works. So many of you already know we have the letters A through G on any instrument. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. An important thing to understand about the musical alphabet is that most notes have a sharp or a flat in between them. For example, if we're going from A on the fifth fret here, to B on the seventh fret, the reason we skipped six is because six is A sharp. Don't worry too much about sharps and flats right now. Quick explanation, a sharp is one fret higher, a flat is one fret lower. So A sharp and B flat are technically the same thing. That's called an enharmonic note. Just a little tidbit, you don't really need to know that to get this down. We're just gonna talk about sharps for now. Most notes have a sharp in between them. A to B, you're gonna skip a fret, but when you go from B to C, C is on the eighth fret of the E string, just one fret over. There's no sharp there. Don't worry about why that is, but it is good to know that it is constant throughout all instruments and all of music. There's no B sharp, you're going right to C. The only other note that doesn't have a sharp is E. On the E string, we go right to F. There's no E sharp. Easy way to remember that, is eggs and bacon. No E sharp, no B sharp. You get that down and it'll help a lot with memorizing our fretboard. Now that we understand the musical alphabet a little bit, let's dig into how we can break down the fretboard in the easiest way possible. What we need to understand is all the way up to the 12th fret here, each note, each letter of the musical alphabet occurs one time on each string. For example, if we're looking for the letter A on our top string, our E string here, we'll find the A on the fifth fret. On the A string, we're gonna find A on the 12th fret. On the D string, we're gonna find A on the seventh fret. On the G string, the second fret. On the B string, the 10th fret. And on the high E string, also the fifth fret. A couple things to take note here. You could probably hear while I was playing this, some of these notes sound almost exactly the same. That is because on the guitar, you can find the same note in a lot of different places. Another thing to keep in mind is we have two E strings. Those E strings have the same notes on the exact same frets. So if we have five on the E string here, that A is also gonna be fifth fret A on the other E string. So that cuts down one of the strings you have to learn. So really what we're gonna be doing here is you're gonna learn the placements of five notes. Again, for the A's, going from our low E string down again, we have 5th fret, 12th fret, 7th fret, 2nd fret, 10th fret, and 5th fret again. Those are all your A's. So your first step in memorizing the fretboard, get those A's down. That's only six notes, five if you just count the two E strings as one. 
No matter who you are or your experience level with the instrument, you can definitely get those five notes memorized. Now, depending on your experience with the instrument or the speed at which you're able to absorb memorizing things, you could take a day to get this down, practice it, figure out where your A's are. You could take a week with just the A's. That's also fine. There's a lot of different ways to practice them. First thing I would start to do, write down where all the A's are, write them down on a piece of paper or look at a picture of where all the A's are on your phone, picking random strings and hitting where the A's are as fast as you can. So we could say D string, hit the A there, B string, go for the A. Say a random string, hit the A as quickly as you can. Practice that for as long as you need to until you feel comfortable locating all the A's. Another thing you can do to practice this that I think is a little more fun is pull up a backing track. You can do that right here on YouTube. Search A minor backing track, A major backing track. It doesn't really matter. Put on whatever you want and practice noodling around on your instrument, focusing on those A notes. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just try to stick with the rhythm and move around through the different A's. You can hit other notes in between, but be aware of the A's that you're looking for. Once you're comfortable with all the A's, remember, don't worry about anything past the 12th fret yet. We'll get to that in a minute, but it's super easy. I'll show you a trick. So once you're comfortable with all the A's, maybe it'll take a day, maybe it'll take a week. These get easier the more of them you do. So after the A's, we're gonna move on to the B's. You can look up where all the B's are. I'm not gonna waste your time listing out the frets for every single note on the guitar right now. You can use this reference if you'd like. Just pause the video here take a screenshot. You can see where all the A's are that we just covered and you can see where the B's are. So what you're gonna do is the exact same thing, put on a B backing track, hit your B's as fast as you can until you feel comfortable finding those. When you graduate from your A's and you're working on your B's, you still wanna keep up with the A's, make sure you don't forget them. It'll get easier to memorize these too as you go on. Then you just go C, D, E, F, G, you can get these memorized if you're an experienced guitarist, probably in about a week, maybe take a week per letter. If you don't have a lot of free time, it might take a little bit longer, but don't get discouraged. Once you get these notes down, they're gonna be committed to your memory forever and they're really gonna unlock your creative freedom. They're also gonna make playing songs a lot easier. So once you have all those memorized, You'll notice we didn't do anything past the 12th fret yet, right? That's because you don't really need to worry about past the 12th fret. Everything you just learned is just doubled. Past the 12th fret, the dots on your instruments are the same as the dots before the 12th fret. So you know the open strings and the 12th fret are always the same note. So you can think of 12 as open again. That means this dot past 12 is the same as the first dot here. So if this is a G, this is also a G. If fifth fret is A, 17 is also A. If seven is B, 19 is also B, and so on and so forth. It continues for every string on the instrument. So once you get your notes down here, all you have to do is take that information, move it over here. They follow the exact same patterns. The more you play these, the more comfortable you get learning the notes. You'll start to recognize a lot of different patterns along the instrument, and you'll start seeing your fretboard in a different way. This will make it much easier to write your own songs, play along with your favorite songs, and start to learn things by ear. Take your time with it. Make sure you really have each letter name memorized before you move on to the next one and keep working with your previous letters. So once you get to C, don't forget about A and B. Keep working on those as well and keep adding to it. I guarantee if you do this and you work at it every day, you'll get the fretboard memorized in no time. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, leave a like and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one.